Welcome to the IBJJF Blue Belt World Champion vlog because that's exactly what this is. Let's get this motherfucking money. All right, guys, man, full send today, IBJJF Blue Belt World Champion. Getting ready to leave Riverside, California. Can't promise you guys how much content you guys are going to get today because I guess IBJJF is strict on their like recording policy and I don't have a videographer for today, but uh, we're going to get as much as we can, man. IBJJF world champion vlog blue belt world champion vlog this would not be my first time taking over southern california let me just let me just put it to you guys like that so uh come home ibjjf blue belt world champion let's get it chop it sound like baby shark because it go do the do <laughs> hey, yeah 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 beautiful southern california man uh not the best place to live but it is beautiful so uh yeah man we're we're on our way to the Anaheim Convention Center man we're about to light that motherfucker on fire. We're about to light that motherfucker on fire. If you pull guard you're fucked. If you stand up and wrestle you're fucked. Everybody's fucked. Fuck do you mean? Four matches to win the day man. I hope they put me in absolutes. And then of course man I got Anthony Burchek in my corner man. So uh you know we're 0 and 1 with that guy in my corner but uh that that was my fuck up. I think that uh I think that we're going to be successful today man. In fact I know we're going to be successful because uh, all the hard work I put in prior to uh, today, you know, the work has already been put in. So today is just uh, is really just a demonstration of what I've been working on. I know that uh, if I go out there and perform the way that I'm supposed to, we come home double gold. We come home double gold. And then I'm really going to put you guys on the game, man. You guys see it, man. I got my raspberries, my blackberries, my Greek yogurt, and then my banana. Um, now, it's not the best the most optimal breakfast, but uh, it's gonna work. It's not my steak and eggs, but I mean, it's, it's gonna work. We got that, and then we got our Santa Cruz medicinal magnesium and salt tablet uh, with our with our gallon of water. So we're really set to go today, man. We're we're, we're ready to light this motherfucker on fire. Not mu not much left. Not honestly, not honestly much left to be said, man. I think that's uh that that about sums up our intro, man. <laughs> What's up, brother? How you doing? Yes, sir. Just pulled up to the event. Uh, slightly late here. <sighs> Man, anyway, uh, probably about an hour and a half early, to be honest. But um, somebody said my bracket was already gone. So I'm like, fuck, dude. Pulled up, about to get a light sweat, get a warm up in. So we got some not so good news. Just weighed in. I'm four pounds overweight, and we're not even cutting weight this week. We came in, came in at 220. I haven't trained in the last two days. Just been on the road, and um, so we're gonna have to sweat off four pounds here. But uh, we're gonna do it. We're gonna make it look easy, and we're just gonna conquer the adversity. So we just gotta gotta get sweating here, and um, it is what it is. Um, kind of sucks. I just didn't get to train last night. And uh, I haven't trained in two days, so my weight's a little bit over uh, what I expected. But uh, yeah, conquering adversity, so let's get it. We're gonna do something heroic today, though. <laughs> you know? It wouldn't be right if I wasn't like, if I didn't fuck something up. You know what I mean? You gotta fuck something up. And you're right. Okay. Oh, go ahead. No, no, go ahead, bro. Go ahead. 215. We'll, we'll get there, we'll get there. Whew. Okay, we're gonna be all right. We got two pounds to cut here, and uh, we're gonna do it. A few moments later. Yo, yo, what's going on, guys? Man, shit, it, it wouldn't it wouldn't have been right, man, if it wasn't a little bit of adversity. Here's my initial reaction to the match. I have watched this match one time prior. Watched it with Burchek uh, while we were at uh, Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles. 
But uh, stepping on the mats is my first IBJJF tournament ever. Um, IBJJF uh, no uh, world's no gi. Um, so we start off here, slap hands, ready to go. Um, super disappointed in this. This is something I'm gonna have to answer to, really just answer myself to. Um, I'm a product of my training. Um, I'm a manifestation of my training. And what happened there was he, he really just he really just lightly snapped me down and me playfully because I'm I, I was too playful the last three weeks in my training camp. I thought um, reflecting on it now, looking back at it now, a little bit too playful. I let him snap me down. And uh, I guess my plan was to just see where it goes, try to wrestle um, from that position. I had no idea this dude was an Iowa State wrestler. Um, so he got on top of me here in the front headlock position. Looks like he's challenging the Dars a little bit. He goes to a chin strap. He grabs the foot, tips me over, and I believe that calls for points. Again, uh, super new to the IBJJF uh, rule set, rule system. There you see me try to try to wrestle up a little bit. He puts me back on my back, um, rolling into him. This was a very interesting position, and this is like, again, this is like where there's levels to wrestling. Uh, and I told you I watched this a little bit with Burchek, Um before I'm reacting to it now. And there was there was some just critical errors I was making to where I wasn't able to get back onto my feet. Um you know, you know, in this in this strange position. This is a strange position to be in. Um I've I've never experienced this. So right now I'm rotating into him. I'm thinking I'm gonna rotate into him and possibly take his back. I don't. I rotate into him, get a butterfly hook. Um he doesn't want to get swept again. College wrestler stands back up. And now we're back in game mode. Now we're back in competition mode. Um, you know, you just can't get off to a slow start. Can't get off to a slow start like that. I, I, I gave him points uh, on the snap. There you see me uh, try to blast a double there. Um, didn't set it up very well. Uh, Got to set it up better with feints. Maybe a little bit of, uh, maybe touch up top, uh, shoot. You know what I mean? So uh, it is what it is. Um, here we are. We're wrestling a little bit better, hand fighting a little bit better. Maintaining my distance here, um, and I think that was a that, that should have been the, the key uh, move uh, earlier is just maintain the distance. There he tries to hit me with a throw by into a blast double, stuffed it. Um, again, guys, there's always a big takeaway, positive and negative, to to everything you do in competition. The positive takeaway is um, did a really got good job defending takedowns, and especially for MMA, it's going to be big for me in MMA being able to stay on my feet. And that's what I proved here with the high-level wrestler. The dude is a D1 wrestler, um, and this is what we wanted. We wanted to check, check, check where I was at, check my level. Uh, there we go. I'm fainting more, fainting more, touching more, fainting more. He tries to blast the double. I get to an underhook. Unfortunately, we ran out of mass space, but that's where I've been hitting that that trip and uh, being able to flip my opponent over from that from that overhook position. Again, there he goes. He gets the underhook. He's on the collar tie. Um, again, I, I felt like I was stronger than this guy. I felt like I was going to be able to outlast him. I felt like, um, you know, the, the, the match was a total of six minutes. Um, I felt good. You know, I thought that he was breathing hard towards the end. There he goes. Tries to blast another double. Easy, uh, easy, easy takedown defense there. Um, again, just just creating my, my space, my separation, because I want to continue to fan at the legs. Fan at the legs, see where he's reacting. You got, you saw him stumble a little bit there. Um, back to the hand fight. Back to the hand fight. Back to the hand fight. Maybe, maybe. Then uh, that's not even my game. That's not even my game. So that shot, a little bit disappointed on that shot. Not that it was a bad shot, but um, as you can see, it got obviously it got stuffed. But uh, that's not even really my game. That's not even something that I do. Uh, uh, blast the double. From a tie position, typically I'm I'm blasting the double from an outside position with with more space. This was a very interesting position. Again, uh, wrestling, dude. Like I just got to level up my wrestling. Um, tried to work to his back there. Um, again, he goes to the front head position, doing a good job of keeping. He's really strong, keeping keeping strong pressure pressure on me in the front head position, threatening the darts. Maybe a little bit of like Japanese necktie, not any, not so much anymore. Um, circling to the back, there you see me get my underhook. Um, I got to rotate back into him, get my butterflies in. Um, he works the side control, side control. He has a mean cross face here, mean cross face. 
And honestly, I'm, I'm proud that I didn't tap to this because this motherfucking this shit was uncomfortable. It wasn't very it wasn't very comfortable at all. And I was stuck because honestly, I've never really been in because he has my arm across. Never really been in this position. He goes to neon belly. Um, I, I squirm out of it and uh, kind of give up my back. I was close here. Guys, very close. I had the chin strap. I like the guillotine. I was underneath the neck. Again, he stands up. Strong wrestling with the wrestlers. I go for the jumping guillotine there. We got it. It's a Hail Mary. It's like, I think I got like one minute left on the clock. I'm down. I need a sub. You know what I mean? And then I just had the guillotine. So I'm like, fuck it. We're jumping for a guillotine. That That's what we're going to do, you know? Um, again, still heavy on the head here. Um, proud of myself. Not giving up. I'm down on points. I believe I'm down nine points here. Uh, nine to zero. Um, still not giving up on myself. We, we just got to figure out a way to get this dude onto the ground or get a submission. It's, it's kind of like the, the, the route that I'm thinking because, I mean, that's all it is. You know what I mean? That's really all, all, all that we can do. There was the attempted duck under. We almost hit it. We almost hit the duck under, which would have been a cool feather in my cap just because uh, just because of how high level wrestling is. Yeah, guys, man, uh, tough outing. Um, yeah, it's always tough. It's a tough pill to swallow to lose in general, but uh, you know, it's an even tougher pill when I, you, you know, I feel like I was outclassed today. I got out wrestled. There's levels to everything that you do. And that's just something that we're, at the end of the day, we're gonna have to go back to the drawing board and we're gonna have to fix. We're gonna get back to training immediately. And uh, we just gotta continue to level up. Um, we can't get out wrestled especially in MMA. Um, I was getting up. I don't think the guy could have took me down uh, had I not engaged in wrestling with him. You know, we're going to continue to compete. Um, we're going to continue to be the most active competitor that I can be. And that's the only way I see myself leveling up. Love and appreciate you guys, man. Uh, make sure you guys like, subscribe, continue to run it up. This is not the end. We got, we're going to try to fight four to five times this upcoming January. So make sure you guys st stay tuned for that. MMA. We're going to rip somebody's head off, you know, you know, so that's what it is. And uh, I appreciate you guys. Let's get this motherfucking money. You know what I mean?